This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 878. Weight Loss Goals, Realistic or Unreasonable? Part one by Julia Steyer with dietspotlight.com. And I'm your host and narrator, Dr. Neil. Hey there, welcome back to Optimal Health Daily where I read some of the best health and fitness blogs to you, usually with a little bit of my commentary at the end. Now today's post is a bit on the longer side, so I'll read the first half today and then finish it up for you tomorrow. So in the US, we are gonna be celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow, which is a national holiday, obviously, and it's a big deal, it's the holiday season. Now today is still Wednesday, but it's like right before a holiday. I usually give you an inspirational quote every Wednesday. I'll still do that, but I'm gonna make it Thanksgiving related. So here we go. If the only devotion you said in your life was thank you, that would suffice. Now, speaking of thank you, I'll probably say this again tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day, but thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. And thank you for sending me your questions because don't forget, I answer your questions every Friday. You can send one in at oldpodcast.com slash ask. If you do, you'll be entered into small special raffles to win books from us. But for now, let's get right to today's post and start optimizing your life. Weight Loss Goals, Realistic or Unreasonable? Part one by Julia Steyer with dietspotlight.com. Setting weight loss goals is at the heart of successful weight loss. If you are determined to lose weight, you might think that your first step should include things like going grocery shopping for healthy foods and joining a gym. These steps are obviously necessary, but one thing that you'll probably wanna focus on in the beginning is setting weight loss goals. Personal goal setting with realistic weight loss goals can help you get started off on the right foot with your weight loss journey. Quote, if you wanna get fit and stay fit, the fitness goals you set need to be attainable, something that you can stick to for months and years to come. It's a process and a very long one. Yes, you can switch things up to make it fun and different, but unless it's your job, do not train insane because unfortunately, you will quit before you see any results. This is according to Marshall Lee McIntosh Jin, a clinical researcher and a wellness, fitness, and beauty blogger. What is goal setting? If you're still confused and asking yourself, what is goal setting? You should know that it's not something that you should be intimidated by. As the name suggests, it just applies to setting goals for yourself. Goal setting is important with many things, including weight loss. With goal setting, you will determine how much weight you wanna lose and by when. Many people find that breaking up their goals into smaller ones, such as losing five or 10 pounds at a time, is a lot easier than focusing on their end goal, which could add up to be a significant amount of weight. Different things work for different people, so you may even find that you have to tweak your strategy later on to something that works better for you. Let's start off with seven things you need to remember about weight loss goals. Quote, weight loss doesn't happen overnight or even in a few weeks. I hate using the word diet, And when you take away everything and aren't realistic, you tend to go backwards and not forwards. Properly losing weight is not a diet. Think of it more as a lifestyle change for the better. By changing little things and not beating yourself up mentally, you will start to feel healthier, have more energy, and be a happier person. Just like Pilates, changing your lifestyle is about progression, not perfection. So breathe, be patient, and remember to move more. Eat food that makes you feel good. And be nice to yourself. This was according to Chelsea Streifneider, owner of Body Be Well Pilates. Realistic weight loss goals. The first thing that you should know when taking goal setting steps is that it's essential to set realistic goals for weight loss. Some people just aren't practical when it comes to losing weight. The truth is, is that it's hard and it can be time consuming. You wanna strive for healthy weight loss goals, not losing as much weight as possible in a ridiculously short period of time. Therefore, when you're thinking about how much weight you wanna lose and how much time you're gonna give yourself to reach these goals, you'll wanna focus on reasonable weight loss goals in a reasonable time frame. Attempting to lose 50 pounds in one month just isn't realistic, but aiming to lose a pound or two per week is. Reasonable weight loss goals. Along with making sure that you are giving yourself enough time to achieve your goals, you'll also wanna make sure that you are reasonable about the amount of weight that you wanna lose. One big part of smart goal setting is ensuring that the weight that you wanna get down to is a healthy weight for your height and build. You can use a BMI calculator or a weight chart to give you a good idea of how much you should weigh, or you can talk to your doctor. 
Use this information to set your goals at reasonable levels so that you don't set out to lose more weight than you need to lose. Quote, if you are starting out overweight or obese, setting a goal to lose 5% of your baseline body weight can result in meaningful reductions in cardiovascular risk factors. This is according to Debbie Fetter, a PhD candidate and an American Society for Nutrition contributor. Setting weight loss goals. Setting weight loss goals is not as complicated as it might seem. You also don't have to make a commitment to anyone else if you don't want to. In fact, you do not even have to share your weight loss goals with anyone else, although some people find that it's motivational to do so. Instead, you can write them down on a piece of paper, log weight loss goals on your computer, or just keep them in your mind as you work to achieve them. There is no right or wrong way to go about setting your goals as long as you are focused on setting them and striving towards them. Goals for weight loss. Lots of people set goals for weight loss even though they might all be different. You can also set accompanying goals that go along with your weight loss. For example, you might aim to lose 20 pounds, but you may also have specific fitness goals in mind. Alternatively, you may wanna aim to stop drinking soda or to only eat clean, non-processed foods. These types of goals can help you lose the weight and can help you feel better overall. Healthy weight loss goals. The primary thing that you're gonna wanna focus on when setting your goals is making sure that they are healthy. It's not healthy to try to lose too much weight too quickly. And it also isn't healthy to try and get down to a weight that's below the ideal weight for your height and build. There are a ton of resources out there that can help you focus on setting healthy weight loss goals that will benefit you greatly in the long run. To be continued. You just listened to part one of the post titled Weight Loss Goals, Realistic or Unreasonable by Julia Steyer with dietspotlight.com. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. I often get asked, why can't I lose more weight more quickly? Like, why does everybody say it's not such a great idea to do that? One of the reasons is when we look at the physiological effects or how the body responds to losing weight too quickly, we're finding that it may throw your vitamin and mineral balance within the body off a little bit. And that, to a certain extent, could be dangerous. So if somebody loses too much weight too fast, usually what's happening is not fat loss, it's water loss. So the person's body is actually just becoming dehydrated. They're not losing fat, they feel like they're losing weight, but it's really water weight. Because when you think of what the body is made mostly of, we're made mostly of water. And then you throw in your bones, your organs, your muscles, fat. Now you get your total body weight. But much of our bodies are made up of water. Water is very heavy. It's very dense. And so shifts in our water weight can make it look like we're losing weight on the scale. But that weight loss isn't permanent. It's temporary. So if you really want to lose fat, which most of us want to do, that takes time and consistency. So again, two things are happening if you try and lose weight too quickly. One is you're probably losing just water weight, meaning you're dehydrated. That can mess with the vitamins and minerals in your body. It can make them too concentrated or you might lose some of those as you excrete that water and that can cause all sorts of nasty side effects. The other thing is, is you may be misled. You may think you're losing fat, but you're probably not, especially in the short term. So slow, consistent weight loss about one to two pounds per week, according to the Food and Drug Administration, is the ideal. All right, that does it from me for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. For those of you in the US, I hope you have a great rest of your pre-Thanksgiving day. For everyone else, have a fantastic rest of your Wednesday, and I'll see you back here on tomorrow's show, the Thanksgiving episode, where we'll finish up this post and where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, And together, we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com 
That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift, as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.